Hello everybody, I'm Boaz Feiler. I'm an evolutionary astrologer and I'm here with Georgia and with a guy hammering something in my backyard. Hopefully that was the end of it. Anyway, I'm here to talk to you about the week of the 30th of March to the 6th of April 2019 about celestial transits that affect us all, all zodiac signs. So what kind of week are we heading into? Well, there's two different influences coming in on the one hand on the one hand we're heading into a week <clears throat> of a new moon in Aries and um, squaring Pluto and Saturn this isn't a very calm new moon it's a turbulent time and it's a it's a time that brings up more challenges nevertheless the potential of growth and transformation and 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 um, maturation is equally great. On the other hand, we have Mercury, the planet of communication, conjunct Neptune, and this brings in a lot of inspiration, and it brings in a lot of, uh, Georgia, you're moving things here, <coughs> excuse me, it brings in a lot of inspiration and spirituality, and just a general feeling of an, uh, uh, a communication that is much more sensitive, encompassing, holistic, and tolerant. The bad things about it is that we could be too naive and romantic about how we see things and maybe connect to things that are truly an illusion and a lie and don't have any real relationship with reality. That's something you would need to watch out from. But <clears throat> this week, as it brings in this new moon, it's a dramatic time, especially in the closer, more intimate circles of our life, family, um, um, with our parents and children, and with our emotional well-being. There could be more turbulence during this week, and of course I'm talking about Pluto conjunct the South Node this week. Come on, are you really going to hammer this when I'm doing my video? Don't you know I'm doing my video right now? <laughs> that, that seemed to help. I was, well, I was, yeah, not, not completely. Let's just go on. Anyway, so Pluto is in charge of transformation. It's in charge of bringing up from the darkness to the surface all these unsolved problems, all these mechanisms that are still affecting us without us being totally aware of it, all of our darkness and shadow, all of our fears and anxieties and our demons, in a sense, asking us to deal with them, to cleanse them out, to uh, actually become more authentic and with a deeper understanding of ourselves and our surroundings. Um, the south node of the moon, connected to the moon, of course, connected to family, connected to our maternal heritage, and connected to unfinished business and karma that we bring in to this life. So all of these subjects can come up in our life, and you know what they are, <coughs> and, and show their ugly face, so we, we cleanse them and deal with them at this time. We have to watch out not to be too dramatic in, in family situations and in intimate situations, and watch out from, from uh, um, just... Uh, believing in a feeling of betrayal, anger, rage, or, you know, we don't want any desertions and breakups to happen. Other than that, Mars is moving in to the sign of Gemini uh, this week, and that is really fastening the pace for all of us. We want to get there faster, and we're not sure that we're in the right direction, so we try to go in different directions at the same time just don't want to miss anything. We could be a little more indecisive because of that and spread too much energy on too many directions and, and, and spread it too thin. We have to remain focused. And we could be very verbal and very active with our words and ideas and how we advocate them in the near future. Uh, let's, let's hold the video for a second until this stops. Sorry for that, folks. Um, anyway, so I was saying 
that this is a time that we could be much more active regarding our cerebral uh, activity and the way we advocate our ideas. We could be, uh, um, we could speak much more strongly about what we believe in. And on the 4th of April, Vesta, in charge of our sacred fire, moves into Aries. In a way, in a sense, allowing us to understand what is sacred for us in our lives, to connect and identify with it, to bring it back home, and to actually put an effort to preserve and kindle that fire in our lives. We know better what we want and how to get it. That's part of that feeling of necessity that Mars in uh, uh, Gemini brings in. And then when Vesta comes in to, to, to Aries, it, it brings a bit of a focus back in. And we're allowed to see and act upon the things that are really most important to us in our lives. <clears throat> this is also the day that Pluto is smack conjunct the south. No, um, but we're going to feel it all through the week. Um, Friday, the new moon. Remember that every new moon is an imprinting time. The day before, the day itself, and the day afterwards. Whatever energies pass through you in those hours and days would carry on with you for the next lunar cycle. Now, I'm an astrologer and I say that all the time, but I forget to do it myself sometimes. And last uh, new moon, I exhausted myself. These few days were exhausting, all for good reasons, but nevertheless exhausting. And that exhaustion has followed me throughout the whole month, as Rick Levine likes to call a month. Um, so do watch out. What's going in within your intricate system, within your energetical spheres, within your emotional realm in these days. And this new moon on Friday in 15 degrees Aries, squaring uh, Saturn and Pluto, isn't an easy new moon. This isn't an easy new month. This isn't an harmonious new month. It's about challenging yourself. It's about facing reality. It's about transformation. It's about growth. And sometimes it's about conflict as well. And we have to watch out from, for being too aggressive or, or, or um, too hard and, 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 and cold with our judgments and our decisions to transform things. We need to do it in a more harmonious fashion. And if we need the vision, and if we need the inspiration, connect to that Mercury and Neptune in the sky. Ask for that from the heavens or great spirit or a bearded man on a cloud or a goddess or whatever you believe in. Ask it from yourself if you believe in yourself. Believe in something. I don't care what it is as long as it doesn't hurt anybody else or yourself. Well, if you want to hurt yourself. But that's about it. So this new month has a potential for stress and for more of a heated environment. But its potential for growth, transformation and maturation is equally great. On behalf of Georgia and myself, I wish you all live long and prosper. Take care. Bye-bye.